let's talk about printer settings. Right here we can see all our printers loaded into our computer. Let's first discuss laser printers. This is the Noki printer. To choose your settings of your printer, you go to Page Setup. That's going to pull up the printer properties window. Depending on the type of printer you have, this may vary, but you always want to choose the highest quality of print. And then you always want to choose the best quality of photo. So instead of office color, you want to use Graphic Pro or maybe another name for that. And you do not want to use toner saving. You want to use the maximum amount of toner to create the maximum opacity on that image. So I always use highest quality photo setting and you always want to use the most graphic oriented color mode of the printer. The other thing that you want to keep in mind is that you are using a different type of paper. So instead of using a standard sheet stock, you might want to change the paper size to type to transparency. Next, let's select a standard inkjet printer. We'll be using the Epson CX6000. Whenever you're using a printer, even if it's a low-end printer, always try to get an Epson printer. Epson printers are going to have a lot more photo settings and capabilities than, let's say, an HP printer. You can choose the menu of an HP printer right here. Go to Page Setup. and You can see, well, we have some settings and advanced settings here, but not a lot of control. Even with a printer that doesn't have a lot of control, you still want to use the photo settings of that printer and then want to make sure that you are printing with the best quality of print image. Maximum DPI, best quality. And if it does have a paper settings type, any inkjet printer, transparencies always work best on the premium glossy photo paper setting. So premium photo plus papers. That's going to be the best type of paper to use in your settings. So here's the simple settings of HP printer. Let's show some simple settings of a CX6000 Epson printer. The Epson is going to give us a little bit more photo control because it's meant for printing on photographs. So best quality photo. Then we can select our page size here in half by 14. And then our paper type. Remember, premium glossy photo paper. That's all we got to do. Now, if you're printing a black image, some Epson printers have advanced settings that allow you to print black ink only. This particular one does not. The Epson 2200 printer, which is a larger and more advanced type of printer, does have the setting, but this is an older printer. And we're going to use best quality photo setting, premium glossy photo paper, and then in the 2200, if we go to the advanced settings, we can choose black ink only. By choosing black ink only, that's only going to pull from the black ink cartridge. Now, most newer Epson printers don't have the black ink only function, but by selecting only black in your image, as you go and send it to the printer, it'll typically just pull from the black ink section of the printer.